Hi everyone, it's me Sunny and welcome to part 2 of my Crusader Kings 2 playthrough and wow what good timing they just announced Crusader Kings 3 is coming out soonish I don't know the date on that I just know that they announced it so that's pretty exciting but I wanted to get back to this game because I love playing it and I don't know like that's really the only reason I like to do it so I'm gonna make a video out of it so where we left off we had this lovely man King Aid the wise or whatever and he has a lot of lovers and pretty much everyone in the world doesn't really like him especially his rival over here in Ireland and like no one really likes him at all because he's an adulterer and he's kind of an asshole as well and he's cruel and shit like that he's also a drunkard I remember that He's 66 years old and I'm assuming he's going to die soon But something I noticed when I was setting up to film is that his heir has zero stewardship and pretty much all his skills suck except intrigue So that's gonna be interesting to deal with and also I also remember most of these children are actually mine not his But you know that's a technicality. I do actually have a du jour claim on this county however he has 1,000 soldiers and I have probably less than that yeah I do so I think I'm gonna have to build some of these things a daughter was born over here this wife um, and she looks exactly like me I could legitimize her acknowledge her as mine or denounce the child either way that guy's gonna fucking hate me so that's fine I'm just going to acknowledge her as mine but not legitimize her because I don't want to piss off my wife any more than I already have oh my son's wife is with child how lovely oh wow my son and his wife both want to kill each other a troubadour and his wife I don't know how to pronounce that has arrived from Occitania I can be cynical and get minus one intrigue or lose 1.5 gold and get the trait charitable. I enjoy good traits. A daughter was born to my son and me. So my son still has no idea that I'm with his wife and that most of these kids are mine. My other lover, Ben Ulad, is pregnant with my child. Husband of my lover sent me a letter asking me directly if we're having an affair. Hmm. Well, yes, we are having an affair. And she really likes me. His opinion of me is bad. Oh my god, he's possessed. You know what? I am getting a little old. Maybe we should tone it back a little bit or just find another lover. So, yes, I'm gonna break up with her. <laughs> oh my, uh, wow, we're having a lot of sex, I guess. Me and my son's wife. Cause, uh, she's with another kid. Damn. I want to get to the point in the game where you have so many kids you can't even fucking tell who's who. <laughs> yeah, this is why I need to start cutting off my affairs. I will acknowledge him as mine, but my wife fucking hates me now. Oh no, my son finally knows! Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is going downhill very quickly. I hope I can live to 69, that'd be really appropriate. My other lover is with a child? Damn. I'm surprised I haven't been murdered by now, but I wouldn't be surprised if I get murdered very soon. F I fucking have my camera like... It was blocking off these icons at the top, so I kind of forgot I had to deal with it because I was like, why don't I have a dude making claims somewhere? Okay, real quick though, everyone hates me, so I doubt they're going to want to come to my court. Yeah, no one likes me. So, you, can you um, make a claim for me, please? Oh my god, you have great stewardship. Please collect some taxes for me. After months of fights, arguments, and tears, my spouse suggested separate bedchambers. <laughs> sure. Let us rekindle our love. Whatever you say, honey. Let's rekindle our love, me wife. Ooh, I get the trait infirm. Yeah, so, all oh, yeah, okay, all my skills are fucking going down, and I'm probably going to die very soon. I just hope I die at age 69, because if I don't, that'll be a very missed opportunity. I gotta live just under one more year. I've- oh I died, okay. Great timing. <laughs> but I don't- wait, no it's horrible timing. I didn't live to be 69. Fuck. I am depressed. Wow, okay. This guy's kids hate him. 
Anyway, King Aid is given up the ghost at age 68. Should have been 69. He died bedridden and infirm, a disturbed person. It was known throughout the lands as a raving madman. Many are cautiously rejoicing at the news of his death. R.I.P. How many kids did that guy have? King Rari Dri is a carefree man. He's perfectly fine with letting things stay as they are, probably because he has the trait content. So be it. Okay, now we gotta, like, fix everything. <laughs> oh, so here's an interesting development. My son, who is about to turn 16, is gay. Cool, I support that. I mean, it's the year 1083. We're pretty progressive, right? But he has good traits. He's humble, just, kind, diligent, and charitable. I like him a lot. <laughs> we'll find you a nice husband sometime. A group of hedge knights have come to visit Kanacha. Tomal Talk has met with them and asked for my reply. Welcome them with a lavish feast. Welcome them reluctantly. Refuse them access. <laughs> I just see my son's, uh, or my, uh, it's his brother's, right? Yeah, his half-brother. Um, it says, when I refuse him access, ass faces opinion, minus five. Uh, but I want the trait gregarious, because hopefully that'll make people like me. Okay, so here's my gay son. He became a dutiful cleric. Nice. Let's find you a nice husband, shall we? This is uh, my previous wife. Hey, do you want to marry your grandfather's wife? Oh my gosh. She's 36, though. And that's a little old, especially if I want him to have kids, because his fertility will be down. How about the Princess of Sweden? She's patient, but she's gluttonous, so she'll probably get fat. And she has no stewardship skill. Yeah, why not? You get prestige from it anyway. This is my good son. Oh my god, I love his stewardship skill. He's a fortune builder. Love that. They will be betrothed. Nice. Okay, so they're all having kids. Things are going fine. My daughter, Dub Dill. Why do I say that? I want to say that in like a redneck voice. Like, my daughter, Dub Dill. I should pick a regent. Oh, this guy is depressed and stressed. He's probably going to fucking die soon. But here, you want to be a regent? Sounds good to me. I'm not picking a cupbearer because people will fucking kill me. I want to fight someone. But, um, I have, like, no fucking... <laughs> I have no fucking soldiers. This guy claims he would be a better spy master. He doesn't completely always fucking hate me. Ooh, the rebels have finally overtaken this. Where are your soldiers, dude? Like, come on. She's a cradle robber? What the fuck? When, how, how did she get that? Like, did she steal a baby? Like, what? I've never seen that before, holy shit. My daughter Dub Dill is now of legal age. She has good uh, intrigue. Let us find you a matrilineal marriage because another thing I want to do in this playthrough is spread my dynasty as fucking far as possible. I don't know, there's a lot of princes of Denmark going around with some pretty good military skills. Here, we'll pick this guy. He's 23, he's got some good stats. He seems like a nice guy. He's a legitimized bastard and a twin and knows how to fight, and he's also deceitful, so why not? He sounds like a lovely guy. Ooh, an intriguing young woman at my court. Most of the time she sat quietly, did not draw any attention to herself. However, you could tell she was listening very intently to the conversation. Nothing escaped her. Perhaps you can find a use. Oh, she's gonna be my spy master. Oh my gosh, she has 20 intrigue. She doesn't like me, though. No, I don't trust her. I'm no longer slothful. Thank you. That is very convenient. Everyone, please like me now. Wasn't this my... Oh my gosh. Is she just still chilling? Dear Sawyer Savonia. Yeah, this is my father's lover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, my wife already fucking hates me. So we're gonna make a move. It's good to be king. So my daughter became 16. Let us get thou a matrilineal marriage. Yeah, my 16-year-old daughter. You wouldn't mind uh, marrying a 50-year-old man, would you? Sounds great. You get some prestige for it, so it's not, it's not my problem. Uh-oh, they know it's mine. 
I will acknowledge him as mine. My trusted and devoted Chamberlain just brought to my attention that one of the serving maids has given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Interesting. That's my boy. Force him to adopt the child, give him a beating, or send him to confess his sins. I don't want my son to hate me, but I want him to ruin other people's lives on his own. So we're gonna make him lustful. And I just noticed this, <laughs> which is slightly a problem. Uh, they have 134% power compared to me, and they want ass face on the throne, which is my half-brother. I don't know why they would want him. Why was I sitting so close to the camera? Um, so I think really all I can do at this point, I'm surprised they haven't just come out and attacked. Um, I guess I'll give them some gold. Uh, see if they stop hating me. Because I, I would be fine letting um, ass face be on the throne. Only problem is he's a kid. And I really don't like ruling as a kid because it's fucking boring and you can't get anything fucking done. Okay, well this doesn't appear to be going down and I know if I declare war to get another county, they're definitely going to attack me. So this is slightly a bit of a problem. My wife has asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers. On one hand, she might not be happy if I refuse her request. That means she already fucking hates me, so do I really care? Um, but if I fire the annoying man, maybe my people will feel my wife has too much influence on my actions. Uh, stay out of this. She already hates me, so like, do, do I really give a shit? Ooh, what is this? I'd like to think of myself as magnanimous person. But I have started to feel uneasy while talking to servants. The, the courtiers clearly does not find it fitting for a king to consort with the servants. But the courtiers don't know. Oh, I want to gain intrigue and be deceitful. Oh, I only really got intrigue, but that's fine. Can I just plot to kill? Plot power is going to be 97%. That's pretty good. Or can I kill this guy? I mean, he's my vassal. Yeah, let's plot to kill him. Yeah, I don't really give a shit about him. We're gonna plot to kill my half-brother. We're gonna add some people to the plot. Plot power is 132, let's get this rolling so they don't fucking attack me. Anyone else wanna join? No, I, I've really got everyone. Okay, we're gonna wait and see what happens. Whispers have reached my ears that ass face is due to embark on a little boat trip. I have it on good authority that he, like many children, have not yet learned to swim. If the boat was to flounder, well, these things happen all the time, don't they? We're going to sabotage the boat. Oh, okay. So, they're gonna fight me for it, finally. Um, I hope I can kill my half-brother before then. <laughs> uh, relinquish title or there will be war. I will not be blackmailed, and now they're gonna fight. Yep. Okay, well, isn't this grand? Why can't, like, is he gonna go on the boat? Like, can we, yay. Okay. See, that was it, that was easy. <laughs> Killed my half brother and the timing was great. Even though I didn't get to fight anyone, uh, really, in this episode, I think there were a couple of interesting things that happened, like, uh, killed my half-brother, and no one fucking knows it was me, and I avoided a war because of that. A, a war I probably would have lost. Um, <laughs> wow. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I really love Crusader Kings. I'm definitely going to continue this series. I don't know how often I will get an episode out, but uh, I will be playing more and hopefully we can get up to some more shenanigans in the future. And why do I keep leaning over like this? I don't know. What the fuck? I swear I don't have a back problem. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.